Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I hope you're doing well. So I had a really exciting time on uh, Monday. I went to the Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh Immersive Exhibit in Toronto. And it was right downtown and I was lucky enough I was about a two and a half hour drive away. So I went down. I actually bought my tickets way back in January before anyone even knew of a virus. And it was originally uh, postponed for May 18th, but it was canceled obviously and ended up going on July 6th. So on this video, I'm just going to go through a couple pictures from it because it's really cool for all the art lovers out there. And I'm actually trying to do a watercolor and pencil crayon sketch of uh, one of Van Gogh's uh, self-portraits. So anyway, we're going to get going on this, but the one thing I want you to watch um, with Van Gogh and his paintings, if you're not familiar with it, he has a very painterly style. Now, just so you know, I learned that word at school, art school at the university, painterly. Basically, it means that you can tell where the brush strokes are. It's very deliberate. It looks like somebody painted on there um, with brushes and you can see the strokes. Now, you might say, well, yeah, Darcy, that makes sense if it's a painting. But actually, if you think of a painting like the Mona Lisa, the Mona Lisa, you can't see a brush stroke. It's considered perfect from the point of view as for a painting. So with Van Gogh's style, it's, he uses a lot of painterly techniques. You can see where his brushes hit the canvas. You can see how he layered the paint. And it's really quite fascinating. When I was younger, I didn't like Van Gogh's stuff too much. I didn't like a lot of stuff, but as I got older and I started to appreciate it more, that's when I went on to uh, like his work. So anyway, here we go, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks. If you like this type of video, please hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support I'm getting. Here we go. So up there in the corner, I'm going to have the various pictures of the uh, exhibition. Those banners there, they were really kind of cool. Uh, you could actually buy one for 300 uh, Canadian dollars, but they were pretty big. But they were all over the place directing traffic so people knew where to go in downtown Toronto, right by the waterfront. Um, the painting I'm doing is just a self-portrait of uh, Van Gogh that he did himself. There's a picture of the inside. Now this place was three stories tall. You can see the social distancing circles on the ground, so everyone was pretty good with their PPE and sitting in there and just sort of watching everything. Now, the one thing you can't tell about the still pictures that I'm showing you is these images on the walls and floor were always moving, and it was like absolutely fascinating. There's The whole room was lit in that, those blue colors there, but as you can see, so for example, the clouds in the background would have been moving or the people that Van Gogh painted would have been slightly moving so everything was very immersive hence the name and it was just fantastic to watch in terms of the in the background they were playing some um, old Italian opera music which was really good um, I'm not an opera fan at all but it was just very uh, very well chosen for this exhibit place was pretty packed um, went way to the back. I think I heard 6,000 square feet was dedicated to this. And you can see in this scene versus the last one. See, now this is kind of the open sky and that's the yellow and the sun uh, that I'm actually painting in the painting right now um, would actually move across the entire walls from one end to the other. Uh, this was really cool. This was one of my favorite ones. I took a quick picture. You can see the candles in Van Gogh's hat they were actually, the flames were lit, and then they slowly went out um, with the music, and his face faded away. That's one of his more popular paintings, and it was just really cool. That was my favorite part, so I wanted to include that. And then uh, this sort of this last one here. That um, you can see in the, uh, the moon and the waves in the, in the air, they actually would be undulating and moving the entire time across this whole basically 6,000 square foot wallscape. So it was really quite fascinating. At the very end, they had uh, a um, souvenir shop and it was really cool. You could paint your own t-shirts. You could buy a purse, which was 3,000 Canadian dollars. I didn't get one of those. 
um, ear lapel pins. They gave out those masks right there. So that was one my one souvenir. But I also bought this really high quality poster and I've got it in my uh, art studio. There it is right in the middle. Blocking the view. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a good day. If you get a chance to go to this, jump all over it. Um, I'm not sure where it's heading to Toronto uh, after it's done here with the virus and everything. I, I heard rumors it might be New York City. But anyway, have a great day and I appreciate all the support. Take care.